Hello and welcome to the history of the Valskirner class starship. The Valskirner class, also known as the Asgard mothership, was a series of spaceships used by the Asgard at the height of their power. Valskirner class motherships were the primary type of starship used by the Asgard. As with all Asgard warships, the Balskirner class has a distinctive hammer shape with wings by the sides and a grayish hull. They were among the largest ships constructed, far greater inside than the Tori or the Gowald capital ships. The sensors of these ships were quite accurate and capable of detecting movements within the vessel that should intruders board the craft. The sensors of these ships were quite accurate and capable of detecting movements within the vessel should intruders board the craft. This includes a type of thermal sensor which allows for the detection of warm-blooded organisms moving about the ship in case of primary internal sensors were disabled. They possess an automated medical system allowed for the healing of injured crewmen. However, it is possible to tamper with the system which was capable of killing an Asgard in the process. It includes at least one medical stasis pod that can be used by the ship's Asgard commander in the event of a dire emergency. The ship also contains a phase generator which emits a subspace field which was deflected by certain systems in the ship. This in turn meant the ship was incapable of tolerating an uncontrolled entry into the planet's atmosphere. Valskirner class vessels were powered by a series of four neutrino ion generators which produced an engine output of a maximum of one billion earth kilojoules. Such ships were more than a match for several Gwald Hatak motherships, although warships modified with ancient technology by Anubis have been known to pose greater threat. Technology A powerful shield protected the Asgard ships from external threats. This included powerful shock waves from vessels that detonated some distance away. However, the shields was incapable of protecting the ship from explosions already inside the shield barrier and close to the hull itself. Internally, the Balskinar class utilized an explosion suppression system which activated in the event of an explosion. This prevented the use of explosive devices inside the ship and dampered the impact they had if they were triggered inside the vessel. The ship also included a form of cloaking which did not distort the appearance of the vessel but rather made it invisible to primitive scanning technologies. Engine System The Balskinar class had the capability of crossing the galaxy in a matter of minutes and were even capable of crossing the intergalactic void between galaxies. The speed of this was hampered if the vessel was towing another vessel along with it through hyperspace. Forward propulsion was achieved through two of the rear thrusters. A specific engine within the vessel allows for re-entry and was known as the deceleration drive. Transporter Array like most Asgard vessels, the Balskinar possessed a number of Asgard transporter arrays located on the ship. These were all aimed at different directions and allowed for maximum coverage. After entering a specific code into the computer terminal, the transporter array activated and the targeted material would be transported onto the vessel. The limits of the transporter technology remains unknown, though the Prometheus was capable of transporting an entire skyscraper into orbit. The array included an outbound transporter technology allowing crew to escape the ship and move to an external location such as a planet. In the case of replicator infestation, the ship's outboard transporter was destroyed to prevent the replicators from escaping the ship. The Asgard were capable of using the transporter against armies on a planet, dematerializing them and removing them as a threat. Weapons. They were equipped with a forward firing ion gun which served as a primary armament. These were more capable of dealing with Gowald Hatox until Anubis began modifying his ships with ancient technologies making their shields resistance to this weapon. As well as other similar ion based weapons such as the Tolon ion cannons. History. The first sighting of the Belskinner class vessel was on the protected planet of the Circumar which had been invaded by the Gwald Herrer. SG-1 managed to inform the Asgard of the invasion of the planet. A cry for help was answered by Thor, who made an impressive entrance and used his vessel, the Belskinner, 
to easily remove the assembled army's presence, forcing Heru to retreat through the Stargate. During the Asgard Replicator War, many Balskiner class ships were infested by Replicators who took control of them against their own creators. A fleet of such vessels were on a course for the Asgard homeworld, but were destroyed when a prototype of the O'Neill class self-destructed in hyperspace, destroying the ships. By the time of Anubis' re-emergence, this design was slowly being phased out in favor of the much more powerful O'Neill class. Although clearly inferior to the O'Neill class, the Balskirner vessels are still extremely advanced, centuries ahead of any other races, considering the Asgards were about as advanced as their friends and allies, the Ancients, before the latter ascended. Thank you for watching the history of the Asgard's Balskirner class starship. New episodes every Saturday. Like and subscribe for more. The History of the Asgard O'Neill Class Ship The O'Neill Class Ship was the most advanced warship in the Asgard fleet, and the first series of Asgard ships designed solely to fight the replicators. Its length is 1500 meters, its width is 700 meters. It has sublight and Asgard hyperdrive engines. Fuel is Naquadria. It has neutrino ion generators for the power plant and Asgard shielding system. Its countermeasures include self-destruct and explosion suppression system, armament, four ion guns, minimum crew is none. Other systems include transporter arrays, five primary and ten secondary. The O'Neill class warship was named in honor of Jack O'Neill of the Tauri. O'Neill class ships dwarfed both the Prometheus 304s and Hatak class vessels in both size and firepower. These vessels carried the most advanced weapons created by the Asgard, excluding their plasma beam weapons, which were developed later after their participation in the combat against the Ori motherships. The O'Neill class replaced the other ships of the Asgard fleet when engaging hostile forces. These vessels were powered by an unknown number of neutrino ion generators and possessed 15 Asgard transporters. The O'Neill class shared the same aesthetics as for other Asgard spaceships, with smooth curving lines and parallel sets of projections. O'Neill class ships were highly maneuverable, as witnessed during the battle of P3Y229. During the battle, the participating O'Neill class vessel was seen making sharp turns at high speeds and engaging in dogfight style tactics, despite its massive size which in part allowed it to fare better than the other vessels of the Allied fleet and was the only vessel that wasn't confirmed crippled or destroyed in the battle due to its massive superiority over the Hatoks and 304s. O'Neill class vessels incorporating the most advanced technologies the Asgard possess were among the most powerful ships in the known universe. Only the Ori warships designed and built with ascended knowledge were proven to be a match for them. Even then, the only time an Ori warship bested an O'Neill class vessel, it had the advantage of numerical superiority, 4 to 1, and it's unknown if the O'Neill class was actually destroyed. Before their mass suicide, the Asgard developed a new alloy comprised of a combination of Naquita, Trillium, and Carbon, creating the strongest material the Asgard knew of and used it to create the hull of the O'Neill class vessel. The shields of the O'Neill class were some of the most powerful ever designed, capable of withstanding multiple hits from both the central beam weapon of the Ori warship and its secondary pulse weapons, both of which were capable of destroying a Hatak. The O'Neill class was armed with four powerful ion guns, designed to penetrate the shield systems of both replicator ships and Anubis's upgraded Gwald shields. The ion bolts fired by these weapons were capable of refracting to bypass the shields and strike the target multiple times. These cannons were the only known energy weapons capable of destroying replicator blocks, which have traditionally been impervious to energy weapons through sheer kinetic force and were also implied to be powerful enough to counteract the upgraded shields on the Anubis attack, although it was never demonstrated. 
Thank you for watching the history of the O'Neill class warship. New episodes every Saturday. Please share, like, and subscribe. Have a great day.